Hello guys and welcome to this new, tu new tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to upload images in an Ionic uh, 5 app with a PHP backend and MySQL. Uh, I created a brand new database. As you can see, there's no data in high. Yeah, here I'm going to upload a file. And then if I click on send, you should see the file into the database. Uh, this thing. And then if we go into the image folder, right here okay let's dive into it okay i created a brand new project or well, actually i didn't create any brand new project this is uh from a, a previous tutorial i think the first tutorial on the channel so so if you want to start from that tutorial pause some codes are already there. Like for example, uh, the HTTP client it's already imported, and I added it also in the, in the constructor. So, if you wanna really be in the same path, it's better for you uh, to watch that tutorial it's the first tutorial and therefore the app name is api uh, so i even forget the name of the i probably put that put the link uh, in the description yeah but it's pretty simple we have imported a HTTP client here and in the app module 2 HTTP client module and right here too. Yeah. So, uh, for those of you uh, that have watched the previous tutorial, I removed all the code in the on click function. Yeah. And same same thing in the home.html. I remove the code, the input code that was right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm gonna uh, create a, add an input field. Add a, a function and call it selected file. So this function will help us to really get the the last image selected. What I'm trying to explain. Uh, better, but, but for now, I'll just write it like this, and let's go back in the TS file and declare a variable named image, and then add also that function right here. Remove the 
to the dark side. I'm gonna erase this image. Import. Even target. Five. So what does this do actually? Well, first of all, let me add it. Sorry, I'm not gonna wait for it. I'll just keep writing on the codes because I really, I really don't wanna waste time at all. Mm. From that, so in order to send images, I mean, uh, uh HTTP request uh, with images, any type of files is quite different to from uh, HTTP request. Uh, uh, with simple data, so we need to use it from that from new and uh, yeah, we'll do it from that uh, after Okay, our app is running now. Oh, we can come here. There you go. So, what I was trying to explain is right here is this. This function, selected file, and we use it right here. What does this actually mean? So, this means that if you try to select a file, let's say you first of all select this file, the next time you know you say, okay. No, it's not a file one entity. Then you try to go somewhere else and select another file. So this function will help us take the last selected file, which is in position zero. Yeah, I hope you understood that. Yeah, that's why we you see we call it like change. So on change, this function must be executed so that we can get the last selected file. So let's keep going. Now we need to do the HTTP request. the URL of the PHP server just need the URL plus the from that Don't necessarily need this part of it, but it's always good to put in. There's a mining. 
any real hops you really need. Oh, I'm getting some error here. Let me just make sure I go back and make sure everything is perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Uh, but you really don't need this part. I just like to do it like this because you might really need to use to get usage of the response. So this response is coming from uh, PHP. Again, if you watch my first tutorial, you should have done this already. So I'm, going, I'm not going to waste some time. Yeah, I think that, that is it. So let's go ahead and try it out. Again, my database is right here. Let me refresh it. There is some data here from our previous example. Let me get it here. Make sure the database is completely empty. There we go. Choose fire. Send it. There you go. we have it right here. The same thing we we'll find it right here. But this is already anyway from the previous one. But we'll save file right here. So I'm gonna delete this also and go ahead and try it again. So we yeah, we must have two entries right here, even though it's the same file, same name. But right here, we'll get an image again uploaded in the folder. In the folder. So, uh, since the image has the same name, so no matter how many images we upload, I will see it have one image right right here. Of course in the real app you have different for different images so uh, your folder will have a bunch of image as long as you keep on uploading images. So that is that is it. The PHP script is right here. I just show it a little bit Again, pretty similar to the previous one. Just a couple of things change. There's a function to upload image in the folder and into the database. Everything right here and for sure if you need the 
PHP code if you have having trouble. You can just pause the video or probably I'll put a link. I'm not sure because I haven't put it on my blog yet yet yet. But if you really need the PHP code just so comment below and then we'll find a way and then I'll send it to you. Okay guys, I, I, I really don't like to make the too long tutorials because oh uh, for some reason so anyway guys thank you for watching the tutorial please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet uh click on getting a notif get notification stay tuned because there's a lot coming up see you